I was born a stammerer. I could not speak. I was a little bit intelligent, but I couldn't talk. It was the living Jesus that came to me and touched my tongue. How can I forget that? It was not Bible study he came to do. You are, you are not with me. <laughs> he didn't come to open scriptures and to say, I am the way, the truth. No. I encountered the living Jesus. The effect of that encounter was that my tongue got loosed. That's why I can preach to you today. When Jesus said to me that he was calling me to preach the gospel, the first thing I said, because I had an encounter of glory, I was taken to heaven for eight hours. The details of that encounter is withheld. But an angel read a scroll, and that scroll was my destiny. That scroll was what I was supposed to accomplish in life. When it got to the point that I was going to preach and I touched the angel, he said, no. God is aware of the fact that I cannot talk. So he cannot assign me to be a preacher. That aspect is not. That angel stopped reading. Unfortunately for me, the angel stopped reading. And then the angel screamed. The sound of that scream is what we call thunder. It was the energy of that thunder that brought me back to my body. So I began to beg Jesus, beg him, to beg him, to repent, to repent for years. So when he, he calculated and saw that my repentance was genuine, he now came and touched. He was angry that I couldn't see that he had the power to lose in my tongue. It is in that encounter I received the healing ministry. So if we have time, 20 minutes to pray for the sick, they'll be healed. No, not amen. Stop, stop that amen. I'm telling you that he gave me something that can heal. That's what I'm telling you. And I'm not saying it boastfully. Oh my God, you are not following. Don't hear the wrong thing, so. I'm not saying it boastfully. If I tell you I don't have it, I've lied to you. When I met the healing Jesus, the living Jesus, he healed my tongue and he gave me the ability to heal. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He gave me the ability. Thank you, Lord. Have you met the living Jesus before? Where's my brother? He has left. So let me see the sound that you picked. Now, good sound. Uh -huh. Look for a progression and begin to play. No, 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 you got it wrong. Now, let me tell you something. When Jesus was ready to teach me about the prophetic office, for 12 years, I operated in the office of a teacher for 12 years. He wanted to introduce me to the prophetic office. So he opened my spirit to hear sound from heaven. Now, you see, most of you, not today. I don't know how to explain it. There are some sounds we make that we drive in. The moment that man, Jesus was teaching me how to move from the teaching office. That is, is my own personal teaching. If you go and try it, it will not work for you. Because you will need Jesus to give you your own teaching. 
So don't say, that pastor that came taught us how to. You will not migrate. You will be on this. In fact, there will be drought. <laughs> so Jesus taught me how to migrate from the office of a teacher into the office of the prophet. He said I should get a minstrel to produce one of these sounds. You don't want to help again. You are afraid now. So try again. Leave it there. Touch your strings very well. Okay, so it's too loud. Reduce it. Play a progression and don't change it. Don't change it. I know the living Jesus. He was the one that taught me how to migrate, how to move from the seat of a teacher, an instructor, into the visions of God. If you know what I'm talking about, you can, you can lock everybody in this auditorium out and you are alone with Jesus. Meanwhile, there, there are one million people standing by your side. You can't see them. This is what I got in the place of prayer before coming now. He said the average believer in Africa is not desperate enough for him. He said that by now the revival he planned for South Africa would have been five years on, five years on by now. But it was shifted because the church in the land is not desperate enough for him. When you are not desperate for God, it means you have another God. It means you have another place where your confidence is. Because prayer is the dialect of the helpless. 